Hello, this is BCAP back with another coronavirus update. Again, I'm recording from home. We're introducing a new puzzle for the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, as you may know, previous Foldit puzzles have focused on blocking viral infection by targeting a protein on the viral spike. In a new puzzle, you can design a protein that might be used in future treatments for people who get infected with coronavirus. We're joined today by an alumnus of the Institute for Protein Design, Dr. Amut Olge, who has a medical degree and a PhD in protein design. Hi, Brian. It's really nice to see you. I'm really excited to talk to you about COVID-19 and how Foldit and de novo protein design can help. So, Amut, what happens after coronavirus infects someone? So coronavirus will replicate in the patient. The replication of the virus occurs generally in the pulmonary system, and the virus causes damage to human cells, which then leads to the immune system responding to the damaged cells with immune-activating signaling. Things like uh, cytokines get released as the immune system begins to recognize the infection as the cytokine release amplifies, the patient can end up in what's called a cytokine storm. So you're saying that someone's immune system and overdrive can actually make them more sick? That's right. So how could protein design help with that, do you think? Potentially, if you can identify which signaling molecules are causing overactivation of the immune system, then you could design a de novo protein to interrupt that signaling cascade and prevent uh, the immune system from going out of control. IL-6 is one of the important cytokines involved in overactivation of the immune system and blocking IL-6 signaling could be very useful in patients with uh, COVID-19 who are very sick. So that's exactly what we're doing in Foldit now in our latest coronavirus anti-inflammatory design puzzle. Uh, you can design a protein that would bind to the IL-6 receptor and stop the cytokine storm. We will be evaluating Foldit designs um, against this target in the same way that we've been evaluating coronavirus designs. Please see the blog for more details about that. We do want to emphasize that this is the very first step in the drug discovery process. Any designs Foldit players discover would still need to undergo lots of testing for safety and efficacy before it could be available as a medicine. If you're new to Foldit, start with the tutorial levels. We have some videos below to help you get started. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for playing, and see you next time.